things are coming. Uh, trucking is one of the biggest issues. They said uh, in a decade there will be just autonomous trucks on the road, a lot of them. But between now and that 10 year mark, they'll be working on it. Eventually there you'll see the big companies, uh, you know, the big ones, Schneider and J.B. Hunt, those big companies, they have five or six loads going from, say, here to, you know, California. Well, there'll be one driver, and then there'll be four trucks following it, for example. And uh, that'll be the start of it, where they're just following the truck. You know, it's programmed to follow the, the lead truck. They're all programmed to do that. Whatever it does, it, they will do start slowing down, you know, all that good stuff. And then they'll probably park in some designated spot where that one driver will deliver all of them, and then he'll probably be on the road for a few months or whatever it is, and, you know, he'll probably take his truck and load it, unload them all, and then go reload, reload them all. And they might be going to other places. Another driver will come, and he'll make a train, and they'll go. <clears throat> um, which is fine. I mean, they just, just put them on trains in the first place, I guess. I mean, real trains. Well, anyway, that's coming. It's all, uh, you know, farming, and uh, they already have autonomous tractors following combines, and, you know, that'll come. But as a farmer, you know, there's always going to be the guy that has to do all the build all the work with your animals and everything so you know it's it's all a coming and uh, it's just the world we live in now you know I mean we, we just can't stop we just uh, we just keep moving forward to where we all want to be doing something more and more and more until you know you work yourself out of your own job pretty much that's what's going to come and you got to do something else. It's just the way it is. It's just how it's going to be. Everybody knows it. It's just don't want to think about it, but it's coming because people just don't stop. But anyway, uh, it comes down to me and, uh, and yourself and whatever you're going to be doing. Uh, those things aren't going to happen for a while, but you know your kids <clears throat> might see that kind of stuff happening. It comes down to feeding the world again, and then uh, as a farmer, um, I was just saying how the, you work, you know, I was watching uh, Corn Wars, it's something on YouTube, I guess, um, and uh, one of the guys says, no, we don't work as hard as we used to when I was growing up as a farmer, um, you know, and and it's true, uh, you know, your tractors do all the work, you know, um, modern technology does a lot of things on the farm, feeding it, just putting it in the wagons and, you know, uh, cleaning your barns with machinery that cleans the barn and there's still some work but not as definitely as hard as when the, I, I was growing up myself. But in the vegetable field, you work pretty hard still, I mean. Um, especially the smaller guy like me who isn't going to be able to afford to get all this modern big equipment, um, you still got to go pick, you know, your squash and uh, I'm picking that by hand and all that and um, you're going to wash your potatoes and um, I'm probably going to invest into a corn or a 
potato picker and it's going to probably be able to get the potatoes out of the ground and put them right into a wagon. Yes, make it easier for myself in that respect because it's a lot of work, especially when you're starting to do multiple acres of potatoes. But it comes down to that work. How much work do you really want to do? Um, I'm going to be cultivating, so I got to use these tractors. The, ca the camera's sitting on the 750. That'll do. This is going to do a lot of work cultivating. The Massey is going to do a lot of cultivating after everything is planted. And then I still have to weed, and I don't want my weed, the weeds to get out of hand this year or this coming year. Um, or like a lot of farmers, do you just spread chemicals on your crop? Roundup comes to mind as one of the biggest uh, weed control chemicals on the market. But there's others. There's uh, chemicals that you put on your seed to protect the seed when it's starting to germinate. I read where a lot of the weeds <laughs> this is <laughs> it's just nature uh, they they learn how to themselves the weeds learn how to not be killed by these chemicals that we humans are producing so it's always that constant of scientists always trying to make another chemical to kill the weeds that are being able to survive the roundup that's on the market now. Um, go research it. I, I read where, yeah, these weeds are becoming immune to the roundup. They need to grow. Uh, it's earth. It's, I, it's mother nature at its best trying to say, hey, you know, you can't kill me. <laughs> uh, we, do, we do try. <laughs> And that's what it's going to come down to. How much chemicals are you going to shove on the land? And I will. Uh, one of the farmers said, even uh, in the corn wars, it's like, how much can this land produce? You know, or you kill the soil itself. So, how much work do I want to do? Do I want to produce crops that are uh, organic as much as they can be like it's just a fertilizer or manure from these goats putting on there and it's not a whole lot it's just you know fertilizer in the beginning and let the plants do their own thing but then cultivating you know it's a time uh, uh, away from everything else you want to be able to do you're out there cultivating with your tractor you know going up and down the rows and I still say that's the best way. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Are these chemicals safe? I, um, you know, you go online and research all this stuff. One, you know, people with the mindset of saying organic is the way to go, or they're gonna they're gonna write articles that uh, are really negative to GMOs. And then the p people that are, uh, you know, uh, for the science side, the GMOs, and they're going to create articles where, you know, it's there has been no scientific studies saying that there is no problem. There is no problem with GMOs, and it's a it's a it's a subject to uh, get into if you're a farmer. Um, you're on the you're on the you're on the downside because people are uh, always on your case about it. You know, is your crop safe to eat? Is it? If you're spraying it with all these chemicals, think about it. What are you eating? It's it's what it's what it's all about. How safe is it? You know. Uh, study said uh, okay you know you you oh well you know the animals well you're just creating beef cows all right you're growing beef cows and um, 
Well, they're eating the corn that you uh, you sprayed chemicals on, and they're eating the hay that you sprayed uh, chemicals on to create a better crop. And they're eating that. And they said that genetics goes into their body, and then when you actually eat that meat, you're actually still eating those chemicals that were sprayed into that food because it goes into your body. It goes into the cow's body. It grows. It goes into the, a chicken's body. It does. All this, all this chemical stuff that, that that farmers throw on the land, it goes into a, a, into your body as as a, as a uh, consumer of food products, and um, it goes into the animals' bodies. And then you eventually are eating the meat from the cow. Or, you know, you say you're a vegetarian, and you know uh, what you're eating. Really, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. There's a lot of genetics out there that's going on in science and to create better crops. More crop per acre. Bigger crops bigger corn yields, bigger everything, and it's just genetics. It's all science, and it's, um, you know, I don't know. I don't have the answer. I know what I, I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to cultivate my crop and just pull weeds and uh, let the ground do its own thing. And just put manure on the ground, and what it, it's just—it's the best fertilizer in the world. Chickens are running around out in your in your pasture. They'll just make the ground much better, you know. Plus, they're producing meat for you and eggs. At the same time, they're producing a, a good. A good ground. They're very, you know, same with the animals. They, they just poop on the ground and, and it's such good fertilizer. That's nature. Not man made chemicals. That's not nature. <laughs> you know, if you're a. If you're doing drugs, I mean, this is a weird example maybe, but if you're doing drugs, for example, okay, you smoke a, a bowl of wheat. Uh, you know, you, it's a it's a plant, and you smoke it, and um, unless it's very altered, you know, these days. And but if you just had a marijuana plant out there, and you just smoked it, there's just no chemicals in it. It's 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 grown from the earth. And you know, I I've seen people who smoke weed, and it's just you know they're you know all that controversy, whatever. Put aside. You know, and then you got your people who are uh, shooting up and taking these human-made pills and drugs that are manufactured by us. They're the ones that are, are really addicting. You can you can say all you want. You know, I smoked weed and it took got me into bigger drugs. I, you know, I don't believe that at all. Um, you you can. It's all right. Everybody has their opinion, but. Something that's grown from the earth and then manufactured stuff, it always is worse for you. Always. It alters your body and it alters your mind and eventually it'll kill you. It will kill you. And that's what it, uh, these uh, people who uh, are putting these chemicals all over the place, eventually it will kill us. It's cancer causing crap. It kills you. If you're on the side of uh, spraying all your fields and everything, and you say that's the way it's got to be, then that's the way it's going to be. You know, I, uh, I'm, I'm not for it, and it never will be. That's my opinion. <laughs>